Ace Attorney, come back. Hello. Look at that. Super Anime Fox, you are so excited. Togor where we stopped last time. I remember there's Cat Girl who is super guilty. Beautiful music. Sisters, you're dunk slam dunked right back into the action, Mr. Wright. You were amazing in there, really. Yes, I think I might be your newest fan. Did we do a bad job? I don't remember anything. I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> Then again, the other attorney was pretty cool too. <laughs> <coughs> the face of his with his eyes wide and trembling lips. Is that cool, Maya? Sent shivers up my spine. Maya, is that a cool thing to be like struggling? Whatever. So what happens with me? You go to jail. You go home now? Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, I don't think so. Not yet. <laughs> oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead. The man with Miss May. He's the key. He's the key on the old block. He's, I just remember. I need to get something early. I'm so excited. You guys are going to be so proud of me. And that was Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? She went through jail. No, she did go to jail. I guess I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning how charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at detention center now. She's at detention. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, so. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. And then we'll steal Mia back. We'll Pull Mia out of his uh, dimension or something. I'm counting on you. As for full record of Echo May's testimony, I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now they have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. The victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and stripped. I don't know how much good that will be to me, don't do, don't know how much good that will be to me now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in the detention center. She's, yeah, she's not, a, she's a good girl. Don't put her in detention. Delinquency zero. 
to be continued. Oh, are you kidding me? We were like a few seconds away from an autosave. That's so funny. <laughs> Tragic. Ugh, something bonked outside. September 7th, 311. Detention center visitors room. Whoa. Well, hello! <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. <laughs> Not! You stinky warrior! I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. Nope, not really. There's something I just wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. No, poor guy. He's so scared. Pet his head. It makes him feel better. So, what is it you, what is it you wish to ask of me then? Mm -hmm. Getting big miete energy. <laughs> Miette is not a heterosexual. For starters, how did you get to be totally, so totally whacked? <gasps> Why is that the music? This guard monitors the business room. He hasn't moved an inch. He's so scared. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. Smell for the Camry. Whatever. That quote, man, about the about the man who stayed with the old your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way. No way, Jose. Hmm. Never had time to get her to talk. Maybe, um... Katri. Why do you play so wild to happen near phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, you know. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in warrior school, who? Huh? Queep. <laughs> This woman is impossible to talk to. Your attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding scum sucking your warrior. Bottom? Phoenix. No. I can't tell. Is there something against lawyers or just against me? Whatever. I'm freaking leaving. Goodbye. Na 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 na. Stinkberg law offices. Looks like Stinkberg out again today. Maybe it's a boy ding me for some reason. What's that? What that? Old photos of Sri Lanka. Someone's been written on pencil. DL6 incident, exhibit A. DL6 incident, exhibit B. What? Let's take a look. Exhibit A. That's somebody. Sure, I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. Sure, no miss one little photo. Sure, no miss. Do you understand? Sure, no miss. It's like. You know how you truncate language? Sure no miss it. Sure no miss it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Why is Phoenix so confused about being a bottom? Maybe that's why you broke up with Edgewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Photograph quietly added the court record. Yuck. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Take them both. Take them both. Take them both. What? Take them 
bow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why? Is Maya going to be here? Finally, it's taking day off. Detective Dumb should know where. Okay, goodbye. No. Take the picture. Phoenix, I think, maybe has um, obsessive compulsive. I can only take one. Scary. Don't like it. That's the bad man from the cutscene. Na 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 na. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. Yo. You don't just have spiky hair. You just have a spiky heart. Whatever. Wait, no, don't walk. Don't move. Stay here! Dang it! Backspace. Talk about the man! About the man who stayed you here. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Hmm. Would you have sold out the way to Miss Bay to the corpse? If she did a murder. Nope. See? Damn. Na 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 Present the thing! Show the thing! Show the thing to the stupid cat! Nope. That was super incriminating, you Present. That man. Look at that! Look at this idiot! Yuck! Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. Wait. Well, did you? Yeah, huh? A reaction. Everybody's ubu now. I'm ca I can't. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? Oh, she forgot how to speak. She said, "It is him. It's the man who stayed in your hotel room for the night of the moto." Nope. Nope. That's not right. Let's try, idiot. Do you have proof it was him? Hmm. Yeah, proof. Show me proof. Gonna go to get proof from the stupid guy. Okay. Hey, blushy boy. Hey, stupid idiot. Quite the performance today, but there's so so myself. Whatever. Whatever. Stop putting you on the spot like that. Phoenix, he's a awful. He's a horrible, cleavage staring blushman. Sucks. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the gate waters rep, as they say. Nani? Rep? Yes. Our reputation will swell as the hotel with the murderer used the wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It'll be great for business. What? Is that really how real life? Okay, whatever. I too will become famous. You're the stupid bellboy who looked at the uh, breasts. Okay. You're so stupid. Why are we always stuck in the same bad dream? I hate you. So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Bring me a freaking, uh, this guy. Hey, what's that man? That's him, detective. Mm hmm. I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. <laughs> Shit. Actually, Phoenix pretty much is a detective. That's pretty much his job. Nope. Without a doubt, that was the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an F... 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 Write something. Yes, cuss out the paper. Yay, I always wanted to swear on a piece of paper. Yay. Put butt words, butt and ass and, um, those words. 
Henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swears on pizza paper. Okay. Hurry up and write your cuss words. Very good. Okay. Cuss, cussed out paper. Not even Miss May can play dumb for this. She's really dumb though, so she can't do it. Nya nya, hello stupid. Ba 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 Present. Go. Can you have a look at this piece of piece of pee? It's got curse words all over it. What's that? The bellboy is F. F. D. Tells us everything we knew and no saw, such as the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy. That's not the face of this music. Now I'm getting somewhere. This is it. All in the scary music. Come to a little block. No use playing dumb. If indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. You're gonna go to a horny jail, stupid cat. Nani! Even though you should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. No! Oi! Fine, I'll talk. You win, loyal. Yes. Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Ha <laughs> Uh, now, tell me about the man you're with. That man, he's my boss. Nani? Red d d d d d d white President of Information Gathering Group. Conglomerate. Wait. They have the same uniform, except for hers is more, um, you know, red. Information gathering. She's a gossip. Wait, she's Bifika. She's the Bifika of the operation. Amazing. I suppose you call her a, a detective agency. She's Bifika. I can't say it that fast, the way the music's saying it so fast. So this is the man that was with you on the night of the murder. I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. Oh, she will die. It's okay, I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? It's red, white, at last. Finally, a lead on the sky. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Ba ba ba. What, what? Don't throw it away. There's valuable swear words written on that. That's a. D what? That's proof the man was there. Phoenix, why you throw it away? Maybe I should get the picture of the woman first. This is her picture gone! Ahem. There's all familiar clearing to the throat. Aha, uh -huh, you again. It's me, uh, Stinkberg. Well, well. You're quite the thing, my boy. What? Excuse me? The trial, the trial. He was Dell? What? Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. Back in, um, 1906. 1907. I guess something got passed down through Mia, maybe. Bring me back memories, it does. 
Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon. You see. What? Fresh lemon is a young person. Okay, whatever. I apologize. Hmm? Uh, it was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today. Well, I. Appreciate the reminiscing, but much rather you gave me some information. Ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, the painting went away! The paint. The other day, I'm sure there was a big, pretentious looking painting on the wall. Pretentious looking? Well. Oh, well, you know the one I mean. Anyway, where'd it go? Ah, yes, well. I got rid of it. Got quite tired of the thing, really. Nuh uh. You love it so much, you three million. I uh, sold it. No! You said never sell it to even to Phoenix Wright. Sold it. Not sure I buy that. That's so fun. Phoenix Wright, you're such a funny guy. You're such a funny guy. Go to comedy school. Go to Legends of Comedy. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, so? Did something happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. I'm Detective Feeney. Please speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't. I mumbo mumbo. Today trial. So you came to see the trial. Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night. You see, I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me, a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what he would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. If you were that worried about it, why didn't you go for to defend her? Why'd you say no? What? I asked before, but why'd you refuse to request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Right, a Mr. Right, a right, Mr. Right, a right, a right, a right, a right, a right around the corner. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. Man? He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. Who's the man? What's his photograph? Huh? Give it back. No, it's mine. So to take it without your knowledge. But I have to know who's the man. Bam, 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 bam. It was most likely in April May's room at the night of the murder. But what's that you say? Are you quite sure, my boy? Wasn't well, Flo flustered, I wonder. I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Goodbye. And you be alone. Okay. Bye bye. Well, on sound is a stone, a rather large stone. Listen, Phoenix, stones get big. Don't don't worry about it. And I should return that photo. Sure, just throw away all the evidence. Throw all your evidence away. Sure, sure. Sure, throw the whole court record in the garbage. Just make my life hard. Stupid idiot. Goodbye. That's painting. Found it. Look wrong. A bit. What's with the surreal decor? This looks so shitty. <laughs> this looks like Windows 92. Welcome, please furnish me with the title of your personal name. What the? You know what time it is. This is so smooth. <laughs> your name, what is your name?
I was just incri incredibly asking the title you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Incredibly. Mr. Wright is it? Right, I see. Ding, I saw a smi big smile, so such a cool guy. Splint. <laughs> this man is a Willy Wonka, but evil. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giant-esque vocabulary. He's terrible! Hey, one of his awards is just a straight-up question mark. Like, biggest huh? <laughs> What's this guy's problem? I'm Red White, duh, CEO of Blue Corp. Why am I? So is the Fr France flag or something. Horrible weirdo. Corporate expansion official. That's not the word. You so stupid. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. I'm a big boy. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordly challenged. <laughs> Useless. What a fruitcake. Phoenix, that's... That's homophobia. Hmm, let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. You an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What? What does he mean by that? He's got a stupid tie. His tie sucks. No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such myself? Yikes, this guy's arrogant meter is off the scale. What's the Miss May? Miss May is employee of Blue Corp. No. Correct. She was my secretariat. Nani? That's not what that is. What a shock it was to hear what she had done. What she has done, you mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. Okay. As an, it is an ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like you're trying to turn Miss May into scrap key, scrap, scrap stack. Night of the Murder. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who could say? I suddenly pay attention to Monday in details such as time and place. He's so high. He's so stoned out of his gourd. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> sure. Every time I hear Mr. White, I think of blue crystals. Maybe that's why he's so high. Still, Mr. White. Jesse, 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 uh, we have to cook something, Jesse. Hi, Alex, hello. Hotel Bellboy. Oh, wait, hang on, it's Fweeny. The Hotel Bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. Yeah, Phoenix, and then you threw away that fervity. Huh? No matter. The bad boy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak? Put me on the witness stand. Okay. Although I doubt you'll be capable of doing that. Hmm. That is a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? I should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, oh, oh. The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. My dude! <laughs> Feeny needs to start bringing her a tape recorder, because that's the funniest thing that you can say. If a man says, I'm my uh, police are funny little guys that I push around with my little stick, that means that you're the bad man. Everybody knows it. Ba ba da ba da ba da ba 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 ba
Imagine being so vain you carry a diamond on your lapels. Perhaps fake too. I think it's- I don't think it's a diamond. I think it's the gem from- who's the- who's the little Pokemon? Gem Pokemon. Um... Not that- yeah, the Sableye. It's a Sableye gem. It's a Sableye's eye. So sad. You see the shape? It's the same. Look up Sableye. Wait, he has a mythological crystal. He has a methamphetamine. Excellent crystal. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Okay. Sell information. Yeah, they're talking about um, browser data and stuff. We go to Boob's website, they will know about it. It's so evil for the sake of being evil. In just 10 years, I built this business up into the grand office you see now. Just the office? Ah, in case you're wondering, the blue cloth was named after the color blue. Oh. It all makes sense now. Now I get it. Anyway. <laughs> I, Red, White, and Blue Corp, am fa as founder of CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue. <laughs> he sucks. Fantabulistic. He's banned! Ban this guy from chat. That painting. Something's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? What might 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 my guys th that be? A big painting on the wall over there. When did you get it? When did you get it? Minute, minute, minute. Hmm, no idea. I forgot. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why did I find that painting here today? Hmm. Mr. Wrong, was it? Mr. Stupid Poopy Butt, was it? Mr. Idiot Dummy uh, Bad Lawyer, was it? Was that your name? Right. It appears you don't fully grasp your position here. Ask again, who are you? I'm a lawyer called Feeny Wright, Feener, Phoenix, Mr. Big Bird, Flamer, Flamer Bird. No, my feeble friend, I'm mere lawyer. <laughs> If you use the word Mia unironically, go to go to jail. Worth noting. Worth nothing. Zilch Zippo Nada <laughs> Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. <laughs> Nani Ung oof. Un un uh he hit he punched me. Amazing, we had a fight scene. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what would you do, eh? Charge me with assault. No, just say sorry. Charge away, I welcome it, for it is you who'll be found guilty. <laughs> I punched you in the face, and if you go to court, then the, the, the judge will say that you punched me in the face. <laughs> Nani, heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. There's a world beyond your compensation. <laughs> you came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. The caucasity of this bitch. Wait, what happened? Hang on. Alex's message is sometimes not showing. Weird. 
Wait, is it because... <laughs> Somebody moderator figured that out. I don't understand anything. Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him, what is that printing of his hands there? You got censored, sad. Why is small angry Bambi in the coffee cup? Because of, um... She's, I don't know. Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Bye bye. Stinky Burg. Hello, Stinky Burger. Nani? I don't think he's supposed to be standing here. Is that how skedaddle is spelled? Skedaddle. 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 Three Ds. Skedaddle. S K E D A D D L E. Skedaddle. Maybe I should clear my throat. I have. Jumping Jehoshaphat's. Nani? Wait. Hang on. Are you allowed to say that, Grossberg? Jehoshaphat. Huh? What? Jehoshaphat was the son of Asa and the fourth king of the kingdom of Judah in succession to his father. What? What you talking about? Grossberg, what you talking about? Oh, you? What's wrong? You look so pensive like an old- Wait, what's wrong? You look so pensive like an old man at the end of his days. I think every guy just got, goes like, talk like this. I think every guy talks like this. <laughs> looks so pensive like an old man. Hmm, I'm not seen out yet. I was just thinking about the whole mess. Something's really bothering him. He actually talks like this in the anime. <laughs> I played Blued Corpse to visit. Nani Nani, I see. Mr. Stingerborg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what's that? Well, I would, my boy. Skedaddled, skedaddling to leave immediately. Skedaddled, skedoodle. Your dick is now a noodle. I know that word. You see, it's just. They rewrote the English version to get puns. Yeah, I think the puns in Japanese are probably better, but they're pretty bad in this one. Mr. Gross Burgsor. There was a giant painting hanging right here the other day. One you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it today. It was in the Shio's office of Blue Corp Red White's office. Wait, this guy is also white, but let's turn this off for now. So you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. <laughs> Mr. Stinkbog. I know you and Mr. Wright are connected somehow. Mr. White. Mr. Phoenix Wright? Mr. Phoenix White? Mr. Red White. Red Wright. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Connected, you say? Yes. I know what it is. You're lovers! Phoenix. Phoenix, everybody knows about you. 
and Maximilian. What's his name? Miles. But you are Mr. Rhino lovers, aren't you? What? My boy! You sent that painting to him. As a sign, a son of undying love. My boy, please, you're letting your fantasies run away with you. Where did you get these bizarre ideas? I don't understand how you could. It's because I'm not. We're not. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Enough. I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. <laughs> it worked! Edgeworth, you're... I knew it! They are lovers! Awful! No, we are not lovers. Red White is a man who makes a living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. That's why they hired this heterosexual cat girl. Can't believe that worked! I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. That's when the uh, experimental reactor pancaked some people on the ceiling. No, that's SL1. The name on the back of the photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. Des destroyed me. Mm. <laughs> so that's the connection. That's something worse, yeah. It's hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White would be nigh on impossible. Nande. He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. Nani. They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What that? What the L6 was? GL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. <laughs> Nani. Her name was Missy Fay. Fay. Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of Be Bequest? I think Bequest is right there. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, but in the end I cleared her of wrong uh, and in the end cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains solved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Why not? As before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. Alright, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. I need to think more time to think about it, my boy. Does seem troubled about something. Today trial. Sir Kennedy trial. Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. You couldn't get a wink of sleep. Wait. Was it the new system was bad? Thanks. What is this? I don't know what I would do think it would. Okay, whatever. Racing for blackmail. Why are you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossbird? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. That's too spooky. Too scary. They couldn't let people know. The one person found out. I told him. You're stupid. You're told white. You have any riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Mm-hmm. Because I talked, the police were boxed far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Or this time, the offer was blackmail. White controls the law of the country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at the US office. She followed every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Bob. Bottle. Bull. Bad. 
that's probably why the man killed her. It's probably why the man killed her. Because she was finding out some, some stuff. As I look in this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Maybe there's some book or something. Just plant. Guess I'll have to water it now. Sad. The sky is blue, and so am I. There's a hotel. Movie poster. Okay. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. In alphabetical order. Why would man do this? Is he stupid? <laughs> Which file should I look at? A, B, C, D, a D. Let's see if there's A record in this file that catches my eye. Phoenix, right? I will end the stream right now! What? Oh. I was looking for DL6. Dang it. Take a look. Read. I have tarnished the fair reputate name, leaving only those words my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who have made my brother my brother mother blame herself. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg. Allow you to sell my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold the information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is. Hmm. The record stops there. Samantha Grossberg. T U V W Y. Wood. But the entire wood section is missing. Sad. Jace. Okay. Skip. Whatever. The biggest part in here is the S is S. Suicide? Ew. What? What is Junkler stupid? Good old Batman Good, good old Batman Arkham. What are you talking about? <laughs> what is this reference? Good old Batman Arkham. Link it for me, I'm confused. She has a collection of suicide, of course. There's Polishians, Polishians. There's a wording on most of these in pencil. No, do not do this. Okay. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to do a, do a, do a self baby make. Or, wait, no, the, the other thing. I can use these new Facebook clippings. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Yay! Let's find the most disturbing one! Newspaper clipping added to court record. You do not want to see that literal mental asylum on Reddit. No, thank you. Stop doing it. I'm so confused. Back. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Grody Berg. Present for you. What's that? Found us in Mia's files. So she was investigating Red Wine as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Okay. Catch 
that girl. Apparently, Miss Man's in question. Okay. Abection. Well, I'm too persistent. Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you, Miss Mr. Lawyer. I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop worrying. Try my patience further. I fear a nasty accident may occur. Don't make myself clear. Bother, 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 bother. What Pokemon did you call? There's no point asking someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence. What's wrong? Is something stuck in my face? Yes. Why well, yes, there's my eyes, my nose, my mouth. Of course, as yes, you need not restrain your mirth, my friend. Nani? It's okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I'll not think less of you. What the hell? You caught a lopany. Don't, don't lewd the lopany. This guy's a pro at pulling the wool over people's eyes. I gotta put him on the spot. Stop that. Your heart guys give me the goosebumps. In anime, he speaks Japanese with a thick American accent. Oh, you already know Bambi. What do you mean? I only know that Lopany looks like, you know, thick. This is the only clue that Mia gave me. But wait, this one count. Spop him on the head with it! Mr. White, see this? Look at that! Isn't that funny? He was embezzling secret and government funds. Then one day he got word leaked to press. The very next day he took his own life. What's that all about, silly? And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file with suicide articles. Every one of them was labeled with white. You're so stupid. Mr. White, what happened to this? Do not know it. No. Alex, no. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. Alex, go horny jail. Go away. To horny jail. You were involved in all the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? Don't do it! What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Ron, what is it you should be doing right now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, hello. Mr. Ron, we'll be leaving now. Yes, so I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're right. You're absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I've found him. He's sitting right in front of me. Beer, 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 beer. Mia was onto you. She liked keeping tab. But this reason you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. Yeah, get better to horny. Then Mia was murdered and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Uh... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Duh. Secretary's office. We will be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please take me to the public prosecutor's office. Okay. White, that you? What are you doing calling me a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify to her. What's this about? The mere fake case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. 
What? Why no? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude! I told her I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the policeman. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. Nani? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police, now. Beep boop. Duh. Did I not tell you, Mr. Rob? You are a mere lawyer, a little, a little idiot. As is Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you. I'm pointing my finger at you. Point my middle finger up at you. I'm pointing my finger at you. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I'm referring to the local lawyers association, you see. You've been given the lawyers so stupendously inept that they make even you look confident. Uh, I feel faint. Fuck. Uh, what? How does this man talk? Duh, I'm Detective Gumshoe. I'm... Duh. De De Detective Gumshoe. Reporting, sir. Ah, oh, butts. Harry butts. Right, actually. Phoenix Wright. My friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry, pal. But butts was the murderer, right? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. Duh. Who? Huh? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Mr. Stupid Idiot. September 8th, 3.37 p.m. Detention Center Visitors Room. Can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. This is a pretty wild time, for sure. My trial begins tomorrow. White's gonna set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. But a bit of... Right! Mr. Right! Wake your ass up! I'm right here! Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Now I'm in detention. Felix Wright, naughty, naughty boy. Just now, yes, it's all thanks to you. Ha, now I'm afraid we'll switch places. What? You mean you? Yeah, it turns out Phoenix killed Maya, Mia, killed Mia. Case closed. But at least. At least, at least Maya doesn't go to jail. That would have been more sad. Anyway, that's the game. That's the that's the end of the game. That's all. <laughs> I don't believe it. How many people? <laughs> Rest in peace, Mister Wrong. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you. That's gone too far. Yeah, beat him up! Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? You should be my lawyer! Um, well... Defend me in court. Alright, you can be my defense lawyer for Yes! Alright! Huh? Leave it to me! I am Mia's sister after all. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Lawyership runs in our blood. Awesome. What think ghost powers that run in your blood? I better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. This is awesome! That's so stupid! Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. I was a joke. No, I was dead serious. Maya's the best. She's so funny. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. 
Good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. She can be a witness. I'm gonna give that man a piece of my mind. Kick him in the shoe. Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the crowd tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. War never changes, and sometimes you are, uh, uh, someone drops, then the bombs fell, and no one cared. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lately, court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, the li limit of three days was put on initial court trials. What? Really? I feel like court goes for a long, long time. Doesn't doesn't law court go for a long time? Do a flying crane kick, yes. Almost all finished in a day, mostly with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself on this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow is me or him. <laughs> September nine, ninety-five, ninety-five to two, District Court defendant lobby number one. Well, I guess this is it. Yes. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, uh, Phoenix, look. There's a Miles. But it. Prosecutor Miles. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. Oh no, his voice is like, objection! I'm a guy. I'm a cool guy. That's the guy. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does Mr. White have the judge in his pocket too? Hey, he looks like a big guy. Maybe the guy's got big pockets. So you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. Meh. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Anything, 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 wink. <laughs> why, why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant <laughs> declared guilty. <laughs> What? <laughs> so I make that my policy. Edgeworth. You've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him. Yeah, duh. Everybody knows that they know him. Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix. Well, Crow will be starting soon. What? But wait. Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. Oh, yep. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. All by myself. I tie my shoes. Uh, yep. Very well, Mr. Red. Mr. Redworth, your opening statement, please. Um, he's like, he's like, objection. That's the guy. He's like, as the details of the event are already quite clear to the court. 
Today we'll hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. Uh, yup. The prosecution may call this witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Ezworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like it's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's gonna raise an objection about this, suppose it's me. Objection! Bog! Mr. Edgeworth, you owe the explanation to the cause. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? <laughs> I'm simply so cool. <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Mr. Wright is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion would was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Uh, nope. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Ah, uh, you're welcome. No need to thank me. Uh, signed merch by the door. Great, he gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Frame perfect. Oh, it covers the man. Sad. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? <laughs> Look how rich the man is. Uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that now. It's too fun though. Name! These two are great together. Phoenix! Don't give up on love just because there's another guy. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. <laughs> I don't think so. Hang on. Little boy, wait, El Nino. What? Blanco Nino. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes. My friends call me Blanco Nino. His friends call him White Boy. No. <laughs> oh God, I'm suffocating. That's so funny. <laughs> I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. That's not the same thing, you stupid. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. Correct Amundo. Correctiferous. Yes Amundo. Yes, yes Tibuli. And you witnessed the murder from there? Ahem. Why tell you what you already know? Because you were in court, my dude. Uh, yup. Mr. White, you may now begin your testimony. If I can't whip this guy's... Oh, that's just thought that I was gonna say something different. I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world, and I'm the last man standing? Oh ho 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 ho. Oh ho 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 ho. Oh ho 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 ho. Shiny boy. <laughs> I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. What? Let him have it, Phoenix. Let's see, it was about nine o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. 
It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. Okay, enough of white. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Uh, yep. Things occurred as you testify. I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Okay. Uh, very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross examination. Yes, you are now. About nine o'clock, I think that's right. Reading to you, whatever. What the structure of you call us? I didn't do nothing. I'm good. Surprised him to look at the building across the way. I saw a spotty hair man. What way? Hold it. Can be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked by, by you and ran to the left. Now, I don't know my left from right, but that's a different one. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Are you sure? Look at me, shiny man. As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Oh, yep. Perhaps you should change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Ah, uh, time for a present, you stupid idiot. Stupid dummy! Die! I point my finger at you, stupid idiot! Wait right there. Mr. White, you dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly said that the victim ran right. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. Killer man was here. And victim was here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into dead end. Don't you find that odd? A oh, Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Oh, uh, yep, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White, Mr. White says left, and Mr. Wright says wrong. And Mr. Judge says what? And Mr. Edgeworth says... Objection. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth. For once. Ha! I doubt it. Whatever. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? None of <gasps> Bonk! Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Uh, Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? Bonk! If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fan Co, of course. Bonk! More specifically, he was standing here. Killer. Right there. Get that! Bonk! This is where he was. Look. 
When the victim ran for door, if he was watching from this point, they would be carried to the left. I wouldn't- I- I'll take your word for it. Bonk. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. <laughs> order, I would have order. I, yep. Anyone disturbing the order, this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Uh oh, uh oh, I'm so I'm such a soggy boy. Oh no, Rep Scallion. Bajection! Bonk! The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Uh, yep. They do seem a bit far fetched. Ho 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 ho. <laughs> ha ha ha. You provided with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't pissing and crying. Nani, he's laughing. The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor. That's the type thing I would say. This guy's an idiot. Might I be allowed to testify once more? Oh, uh, yep. Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Every time. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Bing bong. She ran to the left. Burst a smile off his face. Okay. Um. There you go. Is that better? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Bonk. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Uh, yep. That does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining? Yep. Uh-huh. You know why? You know why I know? You know why, but I'll... You know, but I know? Let's go see. Uh... Don't think so. Don't think so stupid. Don't think so stupid. Wait. Don't think so stupid. Died or some some stupid man. Die. Projection. You are stupid. Die. Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. Ba -ba -bam -ba -ba -ba. Now you're now you're now you're toast. Now you're toasted fried. Stupid idiot. D. It looks like Buzz Lightyear or something. What do you have to say to that? Duh. Now's my chance! Now's my chance to hear the more accounts. Bonk! Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? Splendiferously Smarticus? Super Super Smash Brothers Man? Mm -hmm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. Bajection! I'm a cool guy! The witness is obviously confused. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Oh, uh, yep. Projection! Nuh uh. The witness is confused because he's lying. Nuh uh. Pont! Emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. No breaks, no how. Okay. I mean, oh, uh, yep. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side now, and they're slipping out of this now, white. Or should I say, Wong? Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. White? Duh. Okay. <laughs> no breaks. Fist your pants, you must. <laughs> Go on the floor. 
Um, well, see, I looked in the other window when I heard the thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then, she turned and ran to the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Soggy boy, soggy face. Swap. Uh, yep, swap indeed. <laughs> Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. I threw up my tummy sore. Nuh uh. The only fa. You deal with it! No way! No freaking way! Yay! <laughs> I've been having a field day today. Awesome. <laughs> this is almost over. Hey. White. <laughs> the two accounts. Um, well, see, I looked out the other window when I heard this thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. She turned and ran for the door. And then you did it with a single blow. Thwap. Phoenix. He's getting a lot less talkative. He's probably afraid I'll catch on to something. But it won't be easy. Bam, 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 da, da. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. What that? You heard that thing fall? What is it? Huh? Oh, oh, that, um, the glass light stand. Right. The one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, how can he see it if it's through the window? Mr. White, huh, what? Point at you! You're saying you saw the glass light stand. Uh, yes. Then change your testimony to reflect this. Sorry, my bad. Oh my god! Uh, revise your testimony again, you stupid idiot! So, uh, yep, the witness will provide his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. Our light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. You are stupid! Bajection! Mr. White, you're stupid! Bonk! It was impossible for you to see in that light stand. Hey. Look at this photograph! Uh, yep, these are the floor plans that I've seen in the murder, yes. Yep. Correct, Amundo. Correctiferous. Your, your, uh, your Macintoshliness. Now look. If you would look through the window of the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Put it. Well. How are we winning? We're winning. Note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White. Bog. What did you have to say to that? The... Ridiculosity, you soggy boy. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen this stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have even been able to see it at all if after it fell. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards of the glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? Or should I say, Mr. 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 Um, Mr. K uh, sloppy Killer? Bonk! It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you would have seen that from is inside the Fey Law offices. In other words, you would have seen that a crime when the murder took place. Gabby! Bonk, bonk, bonk. Uh, Mr. White? Uh, Mr. White, you did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Miss Mia. Hey, looks like we're about to get a verdict. Bajection! 
That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. Now I will kill you! Nani! Oh, I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. Wright. Mr. White. I think the time has come for my ultimate trap card. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. You stinky snake! The wiretap. Order, order, order. Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. <laughs> Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corps. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. Uh, what? Your Honor. Slightly. The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? Uh, huh. Uh, correct. You are most correct, Miles. Blech. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Co. law offices. That is when I saw that cursed light stand. Bonk, bonk, bonk. No, uh, now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Redworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. Uh, yep. However... It is a fact that Mr. White had been in that office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap, he could have seen the glass light stand then. Bonk! Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Uh, Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. More testimony! Yay! Freaking shiny man. Uh, um, leave it to me. Uh, Mom spaghetti. <laughs> Bing bong. The wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I did it to fan co law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is what I saw in this glass white stand. <laughs> now I'm getting confused. <laughs> hmm. Oh, uh, yep. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Bling blong, bling blong, shiny boy. Correct. And this is right. <laughs> Judge, I made a funny meme which pointed to the witness. Take him away. Get a get a ratio. Oh, uh, yep. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Blech. Good luck, Phoenix. Bub, 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 bub. If you did the wiretapping, then how come you can't care? <laughs> Have we got any presents for it? Whatever. 
closed at the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I entered the Fay and Cold Law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. This is where I saw this glass light stand. Damn it! There's nothing more for there to press on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Are the dead or something? Hey! Do you have proof? Projection! You are stupid! Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves the wiretap was placed before the murder. Ha! Hold it, stupid bonk! Why does have me as phone? Projection! You are stupid. <laughs> Blue Corp is a detective agency of course, sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Projection? <laughs> Hold us. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, I guess it- Just like me, I'm a stylish man with my genuinely, genuinely horrible color coordination. Such a beautitious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there's nothing there for me to press him on. Maybe it's rattled enough that I can blood something out of it, okay. Not that one. No projection, that one, hold it. Was it really that you went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Projection, you are stupid! <laughs> that tie is disgusting. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> An identified fingerprint <laughs> several days old. They were found in the Fanco Law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. I know Edgeworth is already running to check on this prince. You're welcome for me, my cool guy. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to Fan Cole offices. Uh oh, one of ammo. What? Really? My health bar's still full. What happened? Tisk, tisk. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. Exodia! Blitherate! You fought honorably. You're welcome, idiots. <laughs> no more. I can't take this anymore. Uh, Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Mm. Yes. Put me to prison. Goodbye. Phoenix. Huh? Phoenix over here. I know that voice. Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. Wah! Mia. Bonk. Where am I? The waiting lobby. What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. Dang it. I was hallucinating. <laughs> wow. Hi. You're finally awake. Look at that. Bonk. <laughs> Again. Hey, Phoenix. <coughs> Gak, that's no way to <laughs> treat an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. <gasps> Whoa! Hold up! <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Maya! Doesn't know the Fae women have strong psychic powers. Big psychic powers, for sure. When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. Her power, power of, uh, you know, so Maya's channel, channeling gear. Sugoi! <laughs> That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia, which is very confusing. Now won't you listen to me, Phoenix? Maya never gave up. You can't, Evo. 
That's what I came here to tell you. Okay. Plural. Yeah, she's a plural system now. But... We didn't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Uh, oh yes. The one you wrote my on. Phoenix Wright wrote... Right... Phoenix Wright... Right... Phoenix Wright wrote... <sighs> Phoenix Wright... So what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. <laughs> That's the secret. The front? That's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One thousand dollars. That's one hundred and fifty thousand yen. Sugoi. Item. Glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4. Bonk! September 4. That's right, Faith. How can you spend $1,000 on a light? I'm not an adult, so I don't know anything. Is that right or wrong? Do you spend that much money? That's right, Phoenix. That's Phoenix, right? I bought this stand the day before I was killed. So sad. One hundred million dollars. Whoa. Now, what does Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. That's wrong. Call con convene. Go dead. Do do it, Phoenix. Go get him. Okay. Thank you for receipt. Bye bye. Go die again. Bye bye. <laughs> Go bye to heaven again. Look at that wood! <laughs> court, uh, yep. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant whether are you all right, Mr. Wright? Are you right, Mr. Wright? Wrong? Are you wrong, Mr. Wright? Mr. White? Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh huh. I'm okay. Uh yep. Let's start where we left off. Nah, -uh. stupid. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment to the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Bonk! Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? Big bow. I say let us give Mr. F I say let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. I'll be most amused to see my ex-boyfriend squirming on the end of a hook. Uh, yep. Present for you, idiot. Die! Bajection! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written on the blood? Duh, idiot. Waha, you're grasping. You are so stupid. Bonk. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Uh, yep. Well, a glass light stand. A date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. Ah! Doom! You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered front of the closed law offices at the beginning of September, you were a big stupid idiot! <laughs> this during explosions! You know when, when uh, Dr. Robotnik died, his things explode and it goes boom, 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 all the explosions all over him. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? 
No, it's impossible. It's it's impossible. Uh oh, he's losing it. Uh oh, he's morbing. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. Bonk. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Uh, yep. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Well. Um. Uh. Yep. <laughs> Bonk. Okay. It's all for the trial of, uh. Projection. But one more thing, Your Honor. Not so fast, Phoenix, right? Or should I say, uh, Phoenix, little, little bitch. Phoenix bottom. Haha. <laughs> what? No way can he worm his way out of this one. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. I'm taking a bow. There is certain thread of logic to defend his claims. Bonk. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Uh, ergo. I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm? Another inquiry! This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. But jeez! Projection. Nope. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong a trial any further. Mm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? Is anyone going to call Mr. White to trial? It should be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have been based on any evidence. Mm, I see. Objection denied. Nani? Bonk. The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. Nan! Dang it! Guilty until proven guilty. Edge Wolf is sure to come up with or just make up something. I have to me a show that to help me in everything. I'm, I'm the Sparkle Boy, Mr. Your Honor. May I go home? Uh, yep. Pretty sure no. Pretty sure no go to jail for a little bit. Not me! Not to me! It's time for me and my, um... <clears throat> Mia. The witness will stay. Mia! Phoenix. Hi. Read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Yep. Fully belong. Memo! Your Honor, if I may. Uh, yep. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. Time for persistent right for Renix. Uh, I have something that I would like to read to court. My cell phone. Badonk! <coughs> the memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Oi, me, me, no. Please, please, please make him stop. Please. How did you get that list? Mr. White. I am, I am transformed to a uh, larger woman. <coughs> Admit your guilt right here, right now, or I'm gonna kill you. Oh, I'll use my psychic blast, psychic spear, die! Eee! I, I confess, I could, I confess, I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. Bonk, bonk. Uh, guilty, guilty verdict passed by Mia, Judge Mia.
<laughs> Bonk. Okay. Oh, yep, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Oh! Look at that word. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say if you only knew how spirited it was. Sugoi! This moment was way cooler in anime. Uh, yep. This court finds a defense. Uh, him, rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty! Get wrecked! Bitter, 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 bitter! Yay! Pop! That is all. This court is adjourned. Later, idiots! September 9th. September 11th. September 99th. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I have both you and my on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me, and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live. As long as I live in heaven. Awkward. My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. She's still a little baby, little idiot. Uh, I can't stay here that long or she'll get too tired and go EP. Nani? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief. Yeah, having a psychic person is probably going to be really useful for being a detective. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix. Can you come to the office tonight? Say 9 o'clock. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay, matane. Chief Mia. September 9902. Bank law offices. Right when she died. That's weird. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came. Mia. I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? Waha! You should see your face. Mia? What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. It's not like we have extremely similar names or anything. Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? I'm not gonna- I, I'm not gonna say it. Look like you were her. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, uh, Maya, why are you here? <laughs> Did that censor that statement. Because of this. See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of- Huh? She means the office. This office. Wait, what? Someone has to help with a new Wright and Co. law offices. 07. Oh, it censored it. It censored it on the YouTube. That's funny. Who better but me? me Maya Faye reports your duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this cash off. Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down to biznatch. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? Feeny. Oh, Phoenix. I get it. Okay. That's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. V. Nicholas Reichs. Nick. You know what this means? We're partners. You know, when I think about it, it's Maya's fault I'm here now. Bad dog. But, if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Good dog. Writing co law offices. It's got a good link to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Scary! Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. You'll never get a moment of peace. Right, okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burger, dummy. Burger! There's a great burger joint down the street. Come on, time's a wasting. Okay, wait up. Go to go get burger! I bet it's ramen, really, right? Ba, ba, ba. Ba, da, ba, ba, ba. New episode's been added.
This looks crazy. Yeah, save the game. <coughs> My voice dying. Time for go to sleep. How many time we got? We got to two hours. That's pretty good. We can maybe do one, one, um, one episode per, um, per stream. Good job, Babby. Yo, yay. We can do next one next time. Next one next time. We'll maybe go for a long time. I don't know. We'll see. Um, this is super fun. Um, hopefully it does good on the YouTube I'll go. Otherwise, ugh, whatever. It's fun to do it anyway. You'll have fun next episode. Okay, very good. Okay. Um, everybody who coming in and not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. We've got fun time, fun video games, good videos. Um, uh, very stupid and very great. Okay. Matane, minashita,